Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'm not going to be talking about oils so much, but I'm just going to be sharing with you a bit of my story with doTERRA about um, how I found these products and how I started to choose to work with doTERRA. Um, this is certainly not where I thought that this journey would take me, um, but yeah, I'm going to share my story with you guys. So um, just give me a second while I can work out how to share my presentation with you. Okay. All right, um, so I was actually first introduced to doTERRA about five years ago. Um, I went to a class at my friend's house and I remember thinking like, hmm, this, this smells really nice. Like I'm really liking this wild orange. Um, and, uh, and I was like, yeah, maybe I should get some wild orange in a diffuser. That smells great. Like I love that there's no chemicals in it. But I remember thinking like, yeah, I don't trust anything that's sold in someone's home. Like, why isn't it in the store? Like, this this is weird. We'll see where this is in, in six months. Um, so I watched the company from a distance, and that friend um, whose house I was at, she's she doesn't uh, work with doTERRA. She just hosted that one time. She's been using doTERRA every day since, for like the last five years, and she's still using it. Um, and I just kept seeing other people using it here and there, and I'd seen only ever really good things about the company, about, um, about the products, about people using the products, and about people sharing the products. And I was like, okay, I've been watching this for five years. Now I'm convinced that this is, uh, that this is a good thing to get on board with. <laughs> so it took me that long. Um, and now, of course, I wish I had like started uh, started all those years ago, but you know, that's not a fun game to play. <laughs> the point is I've just been watching it for a while and really just loved what I've seen. And, uh, and some of the, the customers that I meet too say the same thing. They're like, Oh yeah, I've heard of doTERRA. Like my girlfriend loves that. Um, I've been meaning to ask about it. Like tell me more. Um, cause it's now it's, it's basically a household name now. Um, so that's how I, I, I first met the oils. Um, and then, so I didn't buy anything at that class. That was five years ago, but I was still kind of curious about it. Uh, but then, uh, but then last year, someone reached out to me and offered me some samples. Uh, of course they said, yes, why would I say no to anything free? Um, and then, uh, yeah, fell in love with them. And then, um, then here I am, fell in love with them so much that I was like, why wouldn't I share these with people? Um, so just trying to follow my notes here to give you all the best information. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. So, hauling buckets or building a pipeline. Um, when I was on maternity leave with my first, uh, I have two now. Uh, when I was on maternity leave with my first son, um, I started to get into loads of DIY and I just loved it. I was like, oh, I can make my own lip balm, I can make my own body butter, this is so much fun. I can make my own deodorant. Like, this is so important that like, um, you can be using stuff that doesn't put chemicals into your body. It's so much better for you and it's cheaper, it's so great. Um, so I started doing that for myself and then of course my friends wanted them like, oh, make me a deodorant, make me a lip balm. Um, so I was like, oh, my friends want it. Why not just sell it? Like I'll get a logo, get a sticker, some business cards and there you go. I can make my own business while I'm on maternity leave. Um, so I started to do that. Um, and, um, and it was fun. Um, and you know, I, you know, I did some trade shows and, um, you know, on some Facebook groups and, uh, sold to my friends <laughs> basically. And, um, but I found that it was, it was a lot harder than I thought. I had no experience in business. I didn't really know what I was doing. I had no experience in marketing and, um, I just, I just didn't, it didn't really get very far because you can have a great product and be a great person, but it takes a bit more to start a business. Um, and so I would stay up. It was really messy as well, really messy and time consuming. My husband like would come home and there'd be like, you know, spatulas and bowls full of oily tea about a goop that's really hard to clean by the way. Um, and then I would stay up till like midnight for like the whole week before a trade show trying to prep and get everything ready. And then I'd be gone all day on Saturday away from my kids trying to um, be at the trade show and then only really break even. Uh, and then my top seller, my best selling product was a lip balm. Um, but that was only $4. And so to really start paying my bills, I would have to sell like 600 lip balms or something like that. And that's before I even like take away, uh, you know, my time and, and the cost for materials. Um, so, um, so that was really, really ineffective. And, uh, and so I'm going to tell you a story about this man who's hauling buckets. So what he was doing was, um, he was walking to the river and bringing back water every day for the village to drink. Um, and so um, there were always people in the village. He had job security. People always needed water. So every day, that was his job. Go and get water, bring it back. Then after a while, he realized um, that he could do something else that would work a bit more efficiently. 
So every day he would still bring back the water he needed because he still needed to do that. But he would take an extra couple of hours after the work was done to start, um, to start building a pipeline. So then the water could eventually come straight from, from the, uh, the river straight to the village. So when all the other bucket holders had gone home and were with their families, he would stay late for an extra couple of hours to start working on building this pipeline. Um, and then, so he kept doing that and putting in the extra work. And then after it was done, he no longer had to walk back and forth every day and while all the others did. And he just put, uh, turned on the tap and then the water came. So, um, and then he was able to, um, to rest from the work that he had done. He was able to build a water pipeline for the village, but also a financial pipeline because he could sit and charge for the water instead of having to run back and forth. Okay, so you're talking about something that's going to, um, to be long lasting and easier in the long run. Um, and so what I was doing with Honey Lips and trying to sell um, lip balms and things is hauling buckets, but not really hauling buckets, hauling the smallest buckets, like hauling thimbles, basically, trying to like sell so many lip balms. That's like a lot of running around, right? It's a lot of running back and forth, trying to find 600 people to buy lip balms um, instead of, trying to build something um, that's actually going to eventually take care of itself and be a pipeline that's going to be there um, for generations to come and require less work. <laughs> so you're not constantly spending your whole life running around to the river and back. Um, so that is the pipeline story. Um, okay, so why essential oils, right? There are other things that you could share with people. Um, I know people who, who share other things and, you know, great for them, but I chose oils because it's important. It's life changing. Um, I don't know about you, but like how many purses or lipsticks or leggings do you need? One, maybe two, like maybe three. Um, and like personally, I have some, some lipsticks that I got, uh, I bought two of them over three years ago and I still have them. I had to think it's because I was, I was pregnant with my first at the time and they're still not done. Like, so, <laughs> so anyway, so you're not going to be using them too often. Um, but with oils, they are, they are life-changing, right? I just think it's so much more important because to me, when I share oils with people, I'm sharing hope, I'm sharing health, I'm sharing wellness, I'm sharing um, taking care of your family without chemicals, I'm sharing giving you more energy, helping you in your sleep, uh, instead of just buy this bag, right? Like I just, to me, I feel like I'm sharing something bigger and doing something for the greater good, leaving the world a better place, encouraging people in their healthcare and their wellness. Um, so that's why I chose to do oils, because to me, I really think that it's something um, that's really, really important that everyone needs. Um, okay, so now is a great time because so many more people are getting so much more aware of the, the dangers of uh, synthetic chemicals and maybe some of the side effects from some uh, prescription medications. People are becoming a lot more aware of natural health. So now is a really great time because so many more people are really looking for these things. Um, but you know, you've got to think about why are people doing this? And it's because, it's because, you know, some other options that are currently out there aren't the best. Um, so actually, uh, currently, uh, the age group, um, 35 to 45 year old women, are the most heavily medicated age group. Um, and then after that, the age group that is growing most in, uh, in prescription medications is actually infants and children, even children under one, are being prescribed um, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication. And to me, I just totally didn't believe that. I'm like, no, that can't be right. That's just an inflated number for the news, right? It's the attention grabbing headline. Um, but, you know, I have a friend of a friend who is a doctor and they're like, no, yeah, I, I see that. I see that all the time. I understand why that's happening. Um, and to me, I just think that I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with giving my baby psychotic meds. Um, I'm, I really have no idea how we would even diagnose a baby with anxiety or depression. Um, but anyway, it's, so to me, I'm, I'm so thankful that I can look for other options. Um, I'm, I'm thankful that, uh, that we do have great healthcare, but I'm also even more thankful that I rarely have to use it and I can often turn to, um, to natural solutions that are safer with no side effects for most of my, my health concerns for my family. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, people are really starting to become more aware and look for natural solutions, which is a great time uh, for people like me who are sharing this because people are actually looking like all the time I meet people who, 
um, who say that like they've heard of it, they've heard of doTERRA, they want to learn more. Like, oh yeah, I'm trying to go chemical free in my house. I'm like, great, let's talk. Like, oh yeah, I've made my own, you know, made my own um, laundry detergent or my own soap, and um, I do this and I do that. I'm like, great, let's talk. You need some oils. These are so powerful. You would love them. They're going to change your life. Because <laughs> um, like, yeah, like this. I don't know how many whole foods now, um, like even the, like the grocery stores have a health food section. It's a really great time for people who are looking to get healthy. <laughs> um, and so people often ask, is the market saturated? Because, oh, I have a cousin who does do terror and now I know you. So, you know, probably too many people doing it. Um, but the reality is that 69% of people are looking to natural products to improve some part of their life. Less than 50% have used oils. Um, so they might have tried them before, whether that's doTERRA or another brand, but only 7% have used essential oils have ever, have ever heard of doTERRA. So those, like those 48% of people who probably tried a different brand of essential oils, they are waiting for you. <laughs> they are wondering why the oils that they have used aren't working, or they're not doing what they said the article in line said they would do, or they were wondering why, um, why their friend loves oils and, and swears by them, but the oils they bought haven't done anything, and they're just like, oh, oils don't work. Uh, it's because they're, they're using other brands that aren't, aren't serving them. Um, so these are the people that really need you to reach out to them <laughs> and tell them, no, 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 let me help you. This is gonna help you. Use this stuff, I promise you it's gonna work. Um, okay, so the leading manufacturer of essential oils that's to They're the leading producer of essential oils, but they also um, they also use lots of other wellness products too. So they have amazing supplements and a whole range of um, skincare. So they have something for everyone, basically. Um, sorry, I'm just reading this at the same time as I'm saying it. Because <laughs> I just don't want to skip ahead of my slide, Joe. Yes, okay, so there's something for everyone. Um, okay, so when we talk about the potencies of essential oils, you probably have heard this before because you're probably here because you've been to a class or you've seen some of my videos, you've already got some oils. So hopefully you already know that it's so important that we share doTERRA and not other oils with people because, um, because these are the ones that are gonna work, right? They're 100% natural. They're the only ones with the certified pure therapeutic grade standard, which means that they've been through a number of tests. Um, both through doTERRA and through third party, um, third party testing. Uh, and did you know that like doTERRA work with over 150 universities and hospitals like to provide ongoing um, clinical tests and research into essential oils, um, just so that like there can be more research and information out there so people can start to become more aware of how, um, how scientifically proven these oils are. Uh, John Hopkins University actually exclusively uses doTERRA in their testing of essential oils because they can't trust the other brands, right? They don't know what they're getting. Like they might get different tests every time they test um, the same peppermint oil from different brands. So they can't trust that. It's not scientific in their testing. So they actually only trust doTERRA. Um, people are using them because they are, um, they are definitely, they are definitely more potent than herbs. So if you've heard of herbal medicine, and herbal tea, um, it's definitely more potent and more effective and easier to use. Okay, so just a little bit about doTERRA. Um, these are the seven founders of doTERRA. Um, so they started the company, uh, we just hit our 10th year. So they started 10 years ago um, and they actually um, mortgaged all of their own houses and like put all of their savings in to start this company. They started with just a few oils and their mission was to provide the world with um, the best quality oils. Um, because they had seen some other oils around, they'd been in the oil industry before, and um, they just wanted to make sure that they could provide the absolute best quality because they knew that they could do better than, than other things that they had seen. Uh, and it was their mission to basically improve the healthcare of the world, to get these oils into everyone's hands so that everyone has the option to support themselves with natural health. And so combined with these, with these seven founders, there's, uh, there's over 120 years of network marketing experience. Um, so I was really skeptical of network marketing at the beginning, but it is totally just a legitimate way um, to, to advertise and, and, use, and build a business. Because um, when you think about oils, like there's something that someone needs to show you how to use. They need to teach you, you need to, um, 
you just you need to be shown. <laughs> and so you could either a company like Jutara could either do the traditional method of advertising, which is um, you know pay for billboards and TV and magazines and radio ads, like all the other advertising that we see. Um, but that wouldn't be very effective because you know you would just see a two minute ad and then then it wouldn't go very far. But the thing is, you really need someone to show you and to teach you, and someone you can always ask questions with, like. How am I going to use my Copa Iba? Is it safe to take it like this? How do I do this? What do you use it for? How can you use it in DIY things? Like you need someone who's who's kind of done it before you to, to show you the way. And so that's the reason they went with the network marketing model, just so that instead of um, paying for marketing uh, like the TV ads, they just pay the people who are sharing, right? And that's as simple as that because they need people to share. Um, it is it's not like other some other network marketing companies where. Um, the product has little to no value and the only way that you can make money is by recruiting other people to sell something but no one really wants what's being sold anyway. Um, it, it doesn't work like that at all because with doTERRA, 75% um, of people who, who are with doTERRA are just customers. They're just loving their oils, right? Most of the people are just loving their oils. Um, occasionally people love them so much they want to share them and build a business. Um, but most of what we do is sharing with customers and educating customers and helping them use their oils more in their home. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go over this because you already know about quality, right? You already know. <laughs> you already know that we can go all over the world to wherever the best plants are grown to get the best, um, to get the best oils and the best products. But then also we can also work with the local community um, to, to make sure that they have a sustainable work environment and, and to help boost the economy there too. So uh, it's really important that we don't just go in and, and steal, right? You don't want to go in and just take the best parts and leave the people there who, who grew those amazing plants, leave them uh, leave them in the dust. You want to help grow um, a relationship and a community with them so that they have sustainable farming and sustainable economy to do. Oh, yeah. And what I just mentioned, that's called co-impact sourcing. <laughs> Getting out of my slides here. Yeah, quality. You know the quality, right? I've, I've talked about that. <laughs> okay, retention. This is really, really interesting. Um, retention, that just means um, people who bought something, how likely they are to buy again. So if you look at the industry standard for network marketing, so most other network marketing uh, companies, the industry standard is 8 to 15%. So of those other companies there, you have Herbalife, New Skin, Usana, Forever Green, Avon, and there are, there are many others. Um, it means that if you bought something from them, only 8 to 15% of people are likely to buy something again from them, right? So um, not very likely. With doTERRA, <laughs> the retention rate is about 74%. So 74% of people who have, who have tried an oil with doTERRA are going to be ordering again, right? And that's because... Who uses oils? Everyone, right? Everyone uses oils. Um, you can use them from babies, kids, toddlers, teens, adults, men, women. Um, you can even use them on your pets. You can, um, you can use them with elderly people. Like everyone uses them. Um, most of the other network marketing companies I've seen have such a small target of people that they're even able to sell to you. Like people wanting to lose weight and people ready to start losing weight. That, that's not everyone, right? Of all the people who need to lose weight, who's actually ready to start doing it? Not everyone. And then what do you do once you've lost the weight? You've lost a customer. Um, and uh, like I mentioned with the lipstick, um, okay, so like if you're marketing, uh, marketing makeup, you are marketing only at women, clearly not men, and only at women who wear makeup, which isn't, which isn't everyone. And um, yeah, and so I wear makeup and I bought some lipstick. <laughs> I'm not going to buy again it, like, until like, it runs out and it still hasn't run out two, three years later. Um, so that's why retention is so important. And doTERRA has an amazing retention rate because the products work, because everyone uses the products, and because, um, because we have an incredible reward system. So when you, when you um, make regular, regular purchases, you, like, the customers get rewarded so much with their uh, loyalty reward points, and they get more free stuff. So like, that's why we have such an incredible retention rate is because we have such an incredible reward system and everyone loves the product and everyone uses this product. Simple. Um, oh, right, I think I just said that. <laughs> okay, so um, here's a little bit of history about doTERRA as a company. Uh, I mentioned before it's only 10 years old. 
Um, and so here's some, some milestones. So it started in 2008, um, and then by that December, it already reached $1 million in sales. Like the same year, like less than a year, May to December, it already reached $1 million in sales. Uh, and then by November the following year, they had their first million dollars in a month. And then by a couple years later, they were regularly getting million dollar days. Um, so then in 2013, du uh, Duterte broke ground on a state-of-the-art corporate headquarters. So that's in Utah. Uh, they have like um, lots of offices and scientific labs down there. They're actually doing uh, even more expanding right now. Um, and uh, so then in July 2014, Duterte reached more than 1 million wellness advocates. Uh, and, uh, and then this only goes up to 2015. And then in June 2015, the second part of the corporate headquarters headquarters was complete. Um, so it's huge professional office space and um, like I said, they're continually adding to it because the company's growing, growing so much. Um, and so, th so that's 2015, 2018. I know that just a couple of months ago, we hit 6 million um, customers worldwide. 6 million people around the world are using doTERRA in their homes. So, um, so here are some of the ways that you can get started with your tariffs. Um, it's really important to know how the, the, the payment works. Um, so really look at what, what is there and you can compare it to other companies and you'll see that the compensation plan with your is amazing because compared to other companies uh, with a similar structure, you end up getting paid far more in your So that's really important because if you're thinking about starting your own business, um, you want to make sure you want to ask what's the retention rate okay and what is the earning potential because you don't want to put all this work in and then find out that you're you're capped at a certain level and you can't can't go too far so that's um those are the um amounts of earnings for doTERRA and then we, here we can compare them to some other companies um so diamond is a rank that a lot of people in doTERRA are going for uh that's something that like is, is their goal that they're going for and um Oh, I just want to talk Um And you want to look at the amount of diamonds we have. Okay, so if you compare it to other companies, um, I have a friend who was who was having a conversation with a friend about um, a different company, uh, and their name began with an A, and they were saying that there were you know just a, like hardly any diamonds. There were just a couple of diamonds, and they were saying how many diamonds were just kept showing up like every month in DoTerra, and they're like, why are there so new, so many diamonds in DoTerra? Like where I am, like hardly anyone makes it to that rank. Um, so it's really important to look at the opportunity and how far you can go. So um, this is the normal growth rate for um, for a network marketing company or even a new company. Like typically in the first year or the second year, they um, you know they they have a big growth, a lot of sales, and then after that, it kind of just fizzles out. Um, and I've seen that a lot um, in um, in other people I knew just on Facebook who said that they were doing. X or Y or Z, whatever, um, at the network marketing company. And then I watched them and I waited for them to fizzle out and they did. And like I said, like six months later, they were no longer doing what they were doing. But like I said, with doTERRA, I've been watching it for five years <laughs> and it never fizzled out and it still hasn't and it's only continued to grow. So that's a, a typical, um, typical growth for a new business. And then here's doTERRA, right? It's done nothing but exponential growth and it's still growing. So um, it's just, keep, you see how steep this is? Just keeps going and going and going. Um, and actually that's very rare for businesses to have um, a growth history like that. And um, only two others actually have a growth, growth, growth history um, that looks like that. And that's Apple and Facebook. So, okay, huge, huge companies that uh, you are obviously both familiar with. Um, so yeah, when I, when I first heard about it, I was so skeptical, but then I started to see like, actually this makes a lot of sense. Like why on earth would I be selling my lip balms and making sunscreen in my kitchen, um, to just get like five and $10 here and there instead of, um, you know, and not knowing anything about business. Why on earth would I continue to do that when I could plug into a proven business model, um, run by people that where I get support and training, uh, and I'm not by myself. Right? I can choose my own hours, I can choose how hard I work, uh, and that's all up to me, but I get all the support I need for questions being answered, for inspiration, for people who've done it before me, who can tell me 
um, if I'm on the right track or not and help me to reach my goals. Like to me, it was just like, this is a no brainer. Why on earth would I make, um, you know, be doing, making my own products and trying to sell them when I could just plug into this. It's a proven payment schedule. It's a proven network and it's a proven system that works. Plus if someone has an ear infection, um, body butter isn't going to do anything, right? Like essential oils can do so much more than uh, be non-toxic for you, but they can actually be so beneficial to your health. So now that I'm with your Terra, I'm making more than I ever did trying to sell my own stuff. Um, and I am helping far more people with far more health concerns, right? It's just so much more important. I've got such a much bigger impact. Um, and it's such a blessing to be able to bless others, to encourage them in their natural health. Um, and it just made sense. It was, it was just a no-brainer for me. So um, what it looks like to build with your chariot is um, basically you just love the oils and you share them. That's pretty much it. And then once you get enough people sharing them, then you're going to lead those people who are sharing. Um, and so we have tools and education systems in place to help you in all of those steps. Um, and so it, it, it is scary, but it's just, it's so worth it. And it's so much fun. You get to build a team, you get to work with your friends, you get to make new friends, you get to be pushed out of your comfort zone and grow as a person. Um, and I'm doing things now that I thought I could never do. Um, and um, it's, it's really, it is scary, but it's really exciting to rise above your fears and to know that you're growing as a person. And so um, I've heard people say that Deuteri is actually a personal development journey that's wrapped up in a business opportunity. And, uh, and I really didn't think that was true until I <laughs> got involved. And it so is, like we really, really encourage personal development. So like um, listening to you know, motivational speakers and podcasts and reading books to really grow yourself um, and change your mindset to be like, no, I can do this. So when I first started, I thought, oh yeah, well, you know, Daphne, she can do it, but I can't, right? That's totally wrong. Like if you think like that, it's not gonna go anywhere, right? And, um, and if you try and do things the exact way someone else has done, it's not going to work. You have to show up and, and you know, be, be there yourself, give up yourself, be willing to grow and go out of your comfort zone. So, um, so it is a scary journey, but it's so exciting because you get to grow, you get to share health with people, meet new people. And then, like I said, I've already had a bigger impact um, and help more people with more health concerns than I ever thought I could. And I'm just getting started. So really the way that what I say is that like, I'm, I'm going to be helping a lot of people and I'm going to get paid along the way. I would love to help you help even more people and get paid along the way. And so um, really let's do this together and, uh, and help a lot of people. And it's a lot of fun, <laughs> fun and scary, but fun. <laughs> so, um, so Daphne's story is that um, when she first started, she, someone, uh, do you guys know Daphne? Like if you've done, she's the lady who introduced me. She's the one who sent me uh, those free samples a year ago. And, um, and so of course they said, yes, they're free samples. Um, and, uh, so someone had reached out to her and given her free samples and she was like, no, I don't want to do this. She was like, I'm too busy. I've got stuff to do. Um, and then she, um, waited six months and her friend called again and was like, Hey, do you think you might want to do this? And she's like, Oh no, I really don't want to do it. I've got a knot in my stomach. I'm just going to avoid your phone calls. Um, but then, um, you know, she kept saying no. And then a couple months later, she woke up in the middle of the night and was like, Oh no, I think I've made a huge mistake. I was thinking about this. And I can't get it out of my head. Like, I think this would make a lot of sense. And then she went back to that pipeline video and she was like, why would we not do this? Why would we not do this? Because you can get to grow uh, and have this residual income. And that's, uh, you know, that's beach money, right? Residual income is stuff that's coming when you're not having to work, right? You're not holding buckets. You're just sitting there turning the tap on. And, um, you know, and it's all because of the work you've already done to build the pipeline it's all just coming because, and that's the retention rate. People just keep ordering and ordering. So you're always sharing with new people, but everyone you've already shared with, um, you know, 74% of them is still going to be, be enjoying the oils and you're going to be, um, they're going to be benefiting, benefiting from that. And so are you. So there's really, it's a really great thing to do because you're not trading hours for dollars, right? Whether you get paid $10 an hour, a hundred dollars an hour, you have to be there to get paid. And if you're not there, you don't get paid. So it's, it is a shift in mindset um, and it takes a lot of work at the beginning, but then, but then you're set, right? Okay, so speaking of getting paid, um, there, there are lots of ways to get paid. So I'll just go over the first, uh, the first three quickly. So um, fast start bonus, so fast start. So if you enroll a customer, you're gonna get 20% of that. And then if you, um, you're going to get 20% of anything they order for the next 60 days. 
So, you know, people might get a kit and then place a 100 PV order the following month, um, and then you're going to get 20% of that as well. So anything they order in the next 60 days, you're going to get 20% of that. And that is called the fast start bonus. Um, and so when you first start, that's the your biggest portion of your income. But then after that, um, you're going to end up um, getting a bigger portion of your income from a different way. So um, if you enroll them, you get 20%. Whoever enrolled you will get 10%, and whoever enrolled that person will get 5%. So that's how that works. Um, okay, so then another way to get paid is, uh, is a bonus. So if you structure your team correctly, um, which of course we'll help you with, <laughs> if you structure correctly, then you can get um, bonuses just for having people in the right place. Um, so um, the power of three bonus is um, once you teach three people beneath you, um, once you have three people beneath you placing 100 EV LRP, and then you and your whole team has uh, an overall volume of, um, of 600 EV, um, then you're going to get a $50 bonus. Then if you teach those people to do the same, you'll get a $250 bonus. And then once you teach those people, you'll get a $15,000 bonus, right? $15,000 a month just for placing your people in the right place and just for teaching the people to do what you are doing. Simple, right? Simple. Um, okay, and then this, um, ooh, oh. Okay, so uni level. Um, so after your fast start, this is gonna be uh, the next biggest way that you get paid, and this will eventually out, um, you know, outrank your, your fast start in terms of earning. So this is again place um, dependent on where you place people. So um, you're gonna get two to seven percent of every order placed from people beneath you, and you actually get um, more, you get higher percentage from people lower down. So if you have someone on your front line, you're gonna get two percent of what they order, and if you have people lower down, you're gonna get seven percent. Um, and so that might not mean much to you, but basically it means that you're gonna have more people underneath you, like more people under, underneath you, because you're gonna have someone and then someone who shares and someone who shares and then they can put the customers down there. And so you're gonna have far more people lower down than you will high up because lower down is the friends of friends and friends of friends of friends of friends. So you're gonna have more people lower down and it means that you're gonna get more money from people lower down than higher up. So this, this structure here is actually upside down um, in most other network marketing places, which means, which is why our compensation is so much better and why we are able to pay so much more uh, compared to other network marketing um, because we pay more for people lower down but that also encourages us to to help people like all the people beneath us we're, we're helping we're helping them we're helping them we're helping them because it helps us but it helps them and so it really creates a wonderful culture of um of just being there for each other and you know i i'm part of such a great team i know people who don't benefit at all currently from from me who help me all the time like that I message with questions day and night and they always respond um, and they're always helping me to grow my business even though currently they're not benefiting financially from it. Isn't that wonderful? Like it's so nice to help people with oils but then um, to help people in their business and I'm, I'm definitely benefiting from people helping me in their business and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful structure. <laughs> Okay, so um, here's some of the, uh, the compensation uh, at some of the ranks. So where do you want to be? Like, what is it? What is your goal? Um, are you looking to just um, replace the cost of your oils? So just sharing a little bit. Or do you want to be a committed builder who wants to make it to these higher ranks to, to be earning um, a life-changing amount of money? Um, so my goal is to be silver by the end of this year. Um, and there are ranks below silver. There's a couple ranks before there. Um, but you can see that it, it grows very quickly and very exponentially. Um, and that's again because of the structuring, like as you grow, other people grow beneath you, and so that's why it grows exponentially. Um, and so silver, um, and this is all dependent on how hard you work and how fast you work, which is why it's so great because, I mean, you could, you could work in an office uh, but not get promoted because there are office politics, or you could work um, you could work somewhere else and like there's a, there's a cap, right? There's always a limit. The, the company is not going to, um, you know, pay more than a certain amount for your services, even if you're worth it. And so, um, you don't get that in detail. You get to decide how much you get paid and that's totally up to you. Like no one's saying, you know, because of your background, you're only worth this. You can, you can go as high as you want. There's no limit. There's no cap. None. Um, so, um, so silver, silver is a rank that people can reach 
Uh, I mean, Daphne reached it in six weeks and other people take a year or two. So again, it's totally up to you. Um, I think the average is about um, six months. Uh, and again, you can, there's nothing saying that you can't reach that in a weekend. Someone, someone reached gold in a weekend. So it really is dependent on how committed you are. And so if you're committed, you can go really, really, you can just plow through the ranks and go really high, really fast. Okay, and so um, I keep mentioning Daphne because she is the one who introduced me to oil. So she was a diamond when she introduced me. Um, so she hit diamond after two years and she's now blue diamond. So blue diamond in three years. Um, okay, so amazing training and support. Um, when I was doing my own thing in my kitchen, I literally had no idea what I was doing. I was like, hey, natural recipes, cocoa butter, essential oils, coconut oil, boom, there you go, done. Um, but I really had no business know-how at all. Um, now I feel very differently. I feel like I've grown so much and learned so much about business. And I was scared to start. Like, I was like, I've never done sales. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have that many friends. And you know what? You can have 10 friends or you can have 100 friends. But at some point, you're going to run out of them. So you can't, you, can, you can't get too far without reaching out to people you don't know, right? So, um, so yeah, so I, there are other ways to do that. You're going to be contacting people you don't know. And I have people now that I don't know. Right, and so you you reach out, you advertise, you um, you hold classes in public that, that anyone can come to, and you um, reach out to friends of friends. And um, this week I was approaching spas. Right, there are things that you can do to help grow your business, and so don't just think, oh, I've only got a few friends. This isn't for me, because this isn't about friends. Like it, it really isn't. Uh, it's about continually meeting new people and inviting them to learn more about the oils. And yeah, some, are, some aren't going to be ready. You know, they're going to say, oh, yeah, I don't trust that. Or some are going to say, um, you, know, I, I, you know, I don't think I need those. Um, everyone needs those. So it's your job to tell them, yes, you do. Do you need help sleeping or more energy? <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, and there are always going to be some people, but there are so, so, so many people looking for it. And do you know how many people I come across who already have doTERRA oils in their home and don't even have a membership? I'm like, oh my goodness, let me help you. I can help you get them for cheaper and I can give you more support and education. Like, can I invite you to a class? Can I send you a webinar? Can I give you some more samples? Like, you can't just have one bottle of doTERRA in your home and you're just missing out on all the other information that's there. I could help you with so much more. Um, yes, so anyway, there's support and training um, that just goes on forever. I, I will never run out of support and training. <laughs> so, um, you ready? Like, go claim your dream, right? Um, yeah, like I said, the one mistake I made, I've made lots of mistakes. <laughs> the one mistake, one of the many mistakes I made at the beginning was thinking, oh yeah, they can do it for like them. That kind of thinking is gonna get you nowhere. You have to believe in yourself and know that you can. And know that like, okay, you don't have friends, but well, you don't have a lot of contacts. How are you gonna make more? Like, how are you gonna think of solutions to the problems that you are, that you are facing? Um, and it's scary, because look, look at this fish, he's jumping out of the ball, that's scary, right? But, but otherwise everyone would be doing it, and everyone would be a presidential diamond. But it's so worth it, so if you can just get over your fear and put yourself out there, you can, you can fly, <laughs> or swim in another fishbowl. Um, so one story I like to share is, um, is a few years ago, my husband and I moved to South Korea for a while. Um, it was, uh, it was for about a year, and um, my husband was teaching English there, and I was just kind of went along for the ride. Um, and so many people, when I tell that story, are like, oh, that's so cool. I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. I wish I could travel. You've done so much fun stuff. Like, you can. You buy a plane ticket, and you get on a plane. Like, there's nothing about that that, that you can't do um, that I did. Like, anyone can do that if you make the choice to to do that. You just make plans and you go, right? Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so that's an analogy. It's the exact same situation. If you wanna do this, then then do it. Make plans and you go. Um, so there's so much more I'd love to share with you. Like when I, um, when I first started, I, I spent about two weeks thinking about it, um, sleeping on it, um, discussing it with my husband, and I, you know, I asked every question in the book. I just bombarded Daphne with all these questions, like, I'm scared, what about this, what about this? Um, so if, if that's you, if you have a lot of questions and you want to learn more, I would love to uh, have that chat with you. It's a chat that's better done face-to-face, -face, um, and we can, just, we can just see if it's a good fit for you. Um, so yeah, be encouraged that you can, you can do something bigger than what you're doing now. Uh, think outside the box, and know that you can do it, and um, there are 
tons of people around that can help you, um, like myself and other people, because I have a huge support network and they can all help you. They provide training, they provide resources, you can learn from all of our mistakes, um, and then we can just help you to succeed too. So that is my guitar story, um, and I would love to connect with you later, and have a great day. Go enjoy the sunshine. Okay, bye.